your guide here is Pradeep. Pradeep. Thank you. So enjoy your trip and all the best. So Pradeep will go first. Hey, 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
it is called as spectroscope. Yeah. So anyone knows what this spectra means? Of different angles. Very good. What's your name? Nikhil. Very good answer, Nikhil. So what we do here is when we use different spectra, different wavelengths of light, and we see how this light interacts with particle. Right? So let's say when you have a mud solution, can light pass through it? It make, it it shows opaque, right? So light cannot pass through it because of the particles in that mud solution, right? So similarly you can use very sophisticated instruments here. So we don't work with mud. So we work with you might know something called as proteins, DNA, yes. RNA. And you can study their properties. You can study how their shape is or with what protein talks to what protein in your body using this technique. So it's called spectroscopy. So using light. So you know rainbow is made up of seven different colors. <laughs> So from lower wavelength to higher wavelength. Okay. So in this machines you can. So any idea what is the wavelength of red light? Lower frequency. Yeah, lower frequency, higher. higher level. So it's around 700 nanometer. Similarly, red G or violet will be around 400 nanometer. Right? So in these instruments you can differentiate. So I was I'm telling a range between 700 and 400, right? So even 400 and 401 nanometer light you can differentiate. So these instruments are that sophisticated. Okay. Generally through eye you will say, okay, this is red, this is blue, this is green, but this can tell even in red what is 650 nanometer light versus 700 nanometer light. Even it can tell what is invisible light. So it can even detect invisible light, okay. IR. So which is no. above UV. red, UV. which we cannot see. Yes. So radio UV. UV. Similar. UV, right. change in so we call this let's say proteome so protein so whole body protein what is the change of your body protein versus a normal healthy individual's protein so this is called as a sequence red light of the sand Complex mixture of molecules. You 
have a station. This is called chromatography. You have a stationary phase and a mobile phase. You will be absorbing this at the moment. That's how the mixture will get separated. Okay, that's how we purify the proteins. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. using this facility this is called as flow cytometry where you can see the shape and size of the cell so here you can distinguish or separate out cells based on their shape size and physical properties okay like rbc and neutrophil will look completely different so you can see in the monitor so there are some red dots in the left side right so the second panel from left on top you see two different populations of red light one on top and one on bottom so those are basically two different distinct cells each have different dimensions so one may be small one may be big so why do you see such different let's say this is a smaller object that then is a bigger object and light passes so how that light will be reflected and refracted by that object that can be detected by this detector so if there is a smaller object and there is a bigger object the pattern will be very different and and that's how this instrument can separate different cells so this is called a flow cytometry basically you flow your all the cells like in this case of blood you have a blood and you flow that blood each cell one cell at a time so 
Free your left side, this is your tube and your cells are flowing. One cell comes, the light goes, light detects what are the properties of the cell pump. Again, the next cell comes. So this is how a flow cycle is going to Just uh, do that. What 